<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about acting as your own character. Now, before you say, every character I act is mine, remember, some characters have been around for thousands of years. So don't steal ideas from other people. That's illegal. You need to be your own person. But enough of that. What I mean by that is, even if you're acting as a character who has been around for a long time, such as anything by Shakespeare, Othello, Oedipus Rex, you know it's not Shakespeare, it's been around for a long time. But you need to make that character your own. Put your own little spin on it. Just a few months ago, I was in this play called A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. I was part of the ensemble cast, the cast of fairies. You know the story? The characters help move the story along with their own dialogue. They're part of this own separate fairy world. But you can look it up for yourselves. I don't want to tell you too much. But it was a huge ensemble piece. There were like around 20 fairies. And each of us had to be our own character. Like for me, I chose to be a, a fairy who was shy, but also wanted to interact with people. He was, he was kind of shy, but he also wanted to make friends. Just like in real life. That's how I am a little bit myself. So it was easy to act like it. And it's a fairy. But the acting instructors specifically pu pulled us all aside and said to make our own character because it was so important. We needed not to blend in with each other. We needed to each do our own separate things. At one point, we each had our own line, and we had to do a different action that's related to it. So with that, once again, we wouldn't blend in with everybody else. Or even with the bigger fairies that were helping to move the fairy kingdom story along. So that was, that was really important. It helped me out not only with that play, but with other productions as well. And it's going to help me in the future. Because acting as your own character is so important. You look through videos of plays. How many different Othellos do you see? You look through some more. How many different Oedipus do you see? You see so many different kinds of characters. But they're all the same story. So each person has to bring their own bring their own whatever they have to bring it to, to the table. They each have to make it different, otherwise they'll all be the same. And the character's magic will be lost in time, because you see the same thing over and over. And that's not just with the timeless characters, it's with every character in the story. They each have to do something a little bit different.